So a lot of times when I read a news story or I see a clip on the internet, there's two types of reactions I have when I see it. There's, oh man, we're going to have to talk about this. And then there's, oh man, we are going to have to talk about this. And this one is definitely the latter because when I saw this, I said, there's no way this one can get past me without talking about it because it's too good. It is low hanging fruit, but it is pure gold. Donald Trump is on Fox and Friends and he was asked what his relationship was like with God. And watch just how hard he tap dances around this question and never answers it. And of course, they never call him or press him on it. Take a look. What's your relationship with God like and how do you pray? That's Sharon from Alabama. Okay, so I think it's good. I do very well with the evangelicals. I love the evangelicals. And I have more people saying they pray for me. I can't even believe it. And they are so... Uh, committed and they're so they're so believing they 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 say sir you're gonna be okay I pray for you every night I mean ev everybody almost I can't say everybody but almost everybody that sees me they say it it's such a beautiful thing so the question was what is your relationship like with God not what is your relationship like with the evangelicals but Donald Trump just told on himself right there he only cares about their support he only cares about their vote. I mean, I think I'm doing well with them. I mean, they, they, they say they're praying for me. I think I do great with the evangelicals. He never said how he does with God. He never said how he interacts with God at all. And I know a whole lot of people who have a good relationship with God, and they can't wait to tell you all about it. There's Jehovah's Witnesses in my part of the world that cannot wait to knock on your doorstep and tell you all about Jesus Christ. I see people all the time that cannot wait to tell me all about Jesus Christ. But anytime Donald Trump has ever been cornered about this subject at all, he always tap dances around it. When he was asked what his favorite scripture was, what his favorite verse was, he, he couldn't say. When they asked him what he thought about the Old or the New Testament, which one he's like, well, uh, I, think, I think both equal. He said he went to the Sunday churches. And he also said that he never saw any reason why he should ever ask for forgiveness because he always does good. So the guy clearly doesn't care. And here's the kicker. I don't care if he has a relationship with God or not, because I personally don't believe myself. I don't care if he does or not. But again, it's the hypocrisy for me that these people look at him and they compare him to King David and they, they compare him to the apostle Paul. And they say, well, God sometimes calls bad people to do his work. They use the word of God to justify Trump and I find that hypocritical. That's why I'm talking about it. I don't care. If he came out and said, you know what? I really don't pray much, but a lot of people say they're praying for me and I appreciate it. I would have had more respect for that answer. If he just came out and said, you know what? I, evangelicals love me and they pray a lot about, they pray a lot for me, but I never really pray myself. I just don't really talk to God very much. I would not have been making this video had he said that, but I have to keep talking about what he says in the next half of this answer as he's tried to tap dance because... He just comes right out and says religion is a good thing because it gives you something to look forward to. It gives you heaven. And I mean, if you didn't have heaven to look forward to, then what would be the point of being good? This is great. You know what's a beautiful thing, too? When you look at all of this bad stuff going on, they have nothing to look up to. They have no God. They have no anything. They kill people. They beat people. They push people into subways. They so There's just nothing there. Religion is such a great thing. It's so, it keeps you, you know, there's something to be good about. You want to be good. You want to, it, it's so important. And I don't know if it's explained right. I don't know if I'm explaining it right right now. But when you have something like that, you want to be good. You want to go to heaven, okay? You want to go to heaven. If you don't have heaven, you almost say, Oh, what's what's the reason? Why do I have to be good? Let's not be good. What difference does it make? Right? Or they try to create heaven here. I'm so glad he said that part out loud because I cannot count the times that I've been talking with people and they've said, well, man, if you don't believe in God, where do you get your morals from? Where do you get your values from if, you don't come, if they don't come from God? And I've always said, well, my human nature tells me that killing another person is wrong. My, my nature tells me that stealing something is wrong. I don't necessarily need a book to tell me. And one of the things that I always wrestled with growing up in church was, am I believing this because I truly do believe it? Or am I believing this out of fear of going to hell? That is one of the biggest battles that I always had within myself. That's one of the biggest conflicts that I had with religion was going, well, do I really believe that the world was perfect and holy and it was great until a talking snake messed it up? 
Do I really believe that a guy got swallowed by a whale and then spit back out three days later? Do I really believe that a guy slayed a giant with a slingshot? You know, do I really believe that a guy walked on water? Do I really believe he was born of a virgin and he died on a cross and he was put in a tomb and he rose from the dead and he went back to the heavens? No, folks. I mean, deep down, I never really bought it. But if I did, when I was younger, it was clearly out of fear of going to hell. And Donald Trump just comes right out and says it. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's what it gives people something to look forward to. <laughs> it, it, it gives them a reason to be good. So again, he's just sort of telling on himself. And he clearly, when it comes to religion and when it comes to a relationship with God, he clearly has none. He doesn't. And again, I'm not judging him if he don't. I don't care that he does or doesn't. I, I really don't. I look at the content of his character. I look at how he's living his life. And if Donald Trump was an outspoken, hardcore atheist and still did the things that he did, I would still be calling him out for the things that he did. So it's not about whether he believes or whether he does it for me. It's about his actions. It's about how he treats other people. I wouldn't care what God he said he prayed to or if he didn't pray at all. None of those things would matter. What matters to me is the way he carries himself, his temperament, and the way he treats other people. And Donald Trump has empowered cruelty. Donald Trump has empowered hatred. Donald Trump has empowered stupidity. He's made stupid people more confident than they've ever been in their lives. He has done so much damage to this country that win or lose in November, I don't know if this country will ever get over it in my lifetime. I don't know if we will ever bounce back from his brand of politics because of what he ushered in to the scene. Uh, the cruelty and the, the WWE style rhetoric that is just so hard to debate with and so hard to talk with, that's what he brought to the table. That's what he's gonna be remembered for. And that's got what's gonna take us years to dig ourselves out of. So truly, I don't care if he prays or not, but I just find it hypocritical that the ministers I grew up under used to tell me that I would give an account. There was a minister who used to always go back to this verse he would say, you will give an account for every idle word you speak out of your mouth. You will give an account for every thought you ever thought in the day of judgment. And you better beware of those wolves in sheep's clothing. Just because something walks like a duck and quacks like a duck doesn't mean it's a duck. Now that exact minister that used to preach that to me every Sunday stands up and says that sometimes God calls people like King David and God's using Trump. Yeah, so uh, that's why I haven't been back and that's why I never will.